Servicing one's country is the embodiment of patriotism. And in a country with millions of a young and highly skilled workforce, one would think that young people will take the bulk of civil service jobs. However, due to lack of experience and the need to reward political friends, President Uhuru Kenyatta has once again appointed Paul Lusas to plumb parastatal positions. Nerima Wako is a political analyst. She believes that the appointment of Paul Tergat as chairperson of the Kenya Academy of Sports Council and Catherine Dereba as a board member is a positive move. However, she has issues with the other appointments. So I think it's a political play. It's not necessarily individuals who have strengths in those particular areas or sectors, which is unfortunate. And I think for Kenya, we're one of the only countries where politically those are the ones who are recognized. Nerima opined that the experience and knowledge of the appointees betrayed their appointments. For instance, former Kajado County Governor David Ingedienye, who has been appointed to chair the National Water Harvesting and Storage Authority Board, holds a PhD in pastoralism land use from the University of Nairobi. Machakos County Gubernatorial Luza Wavinyandeti has been appointed to chair the Water Institute Service Board but holds a bachelor's degree in computer science from South Bank University in London. Both Wavinya and Gedienye lack educational experience in water management, something that worries Nerima. So the president does need to focus on individuals who come from those sectors when they come into appointments. And unfortunately, that's not the case in our country. It's more about political favors, and it's more about who supported me during my campaign. Nerima is also disturbed by how positions are being dished out to political friends and the old guards at the expense of youths. Among those who are believed to have been appointed courtesy of political influence are Ogla Karani, who is Raila Odinga's ally, former Central Mwingi MP Joe Mutambo, and former Laikipia Governor Joshua Irungu, who is a Jubilee member. So basically, the president needs to research on young people doing well in this country. There are plenty of them. Just because they do not show up on the media um, doesn't mean that they are not doing well in their sectors. All he has to do is ask his team to be able to give him people who are below the age of 40 who are doing well in this country. At the court of public opinion, young people believe the president has taken them for a ride considering he had promised to factor them in his appointments. The president could actually utilize us, you know, we are we're young. I think 70% of Kenyans are youth. This is not the first time the president is appointing political losers in Kiparastatal board. The reason being the appointment of former Vice President Moody Awori to the Sport Fund board. Despite a section of the public complaining President Uhuru Kenyatta's appointment yesterday, the said members will be working for the board in the next three years. Kevin Sewe, Switch TV.